tranquilo en la mía es que estoy. El Richard Zafiro, Dios me los bendiga. Mis hijos no nacen otro como Floyd. La baby le llegan. Lo mío al día no le falta nada. Las guaguas son negras, están todas blindadas. Tú ronca allá afuera y tú no eres nada. Porque mi tiempo me vale dinero. No te asustes si te enseño todos los ceros. La vida me bendijo porque me mero. Soy mi jefe, eso va por lo que yo quiero. Aquí arriba no llegan. Tú sabes que aquí es real. Mere, me venga a frontear. Pregúntale al banquero, son tres melones semanal. No existe quién me va a parar. Se juntaron todos para quererme frenar. Saludos a la federal y al estatal. Cambié todas las válvulas ya que pueden balbulear. Yo sí que no va a cambiar. Lo que se viraron que le vaya mal. Y si me tiran, sabes que voy a pichar. Los palos son legales, la corta están digitales, los roles, los out de mal, la caja nunca para eso no y la baby le llegan, lo mío al día no le falta nada, las guaguas son negras, están todas blindadas, tu ronca allá afuera y tú no eres nada, aquí arriba no llegan, tú sabes que aquí es real, mere, no me venga a frontear, pregúntale al banquero, son tres melones semanal, que manden bajo en PR, a la fama no se me aferre, no soy de la calle un pero me pegué y no hay quien los desentierre Mi nieto ya tiene Mercedes Aunque mi hija solo se llena ya tiene Lo único seguro aquí es la muerte Pero pues está claro, les dejé 50 en bienes ¿Quién te dijo que tú eres más que yo? Está frustrado Recuerda salieron de mí Pues si no le han informado He visto que se han virado Pensaron que al negro la habían frenado 300 canciones dejé en la compu Pa' que en el 3000 yo soy el más pegado Yo voy por zapado Y ustedes lo saben Pa' la p*** soy el negro Baseball from the Big Apple. We're at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Today we've got a contest out of the American League East between the Tampa Bay Rays and the New York Yankees. Yankee baseball starts now. Corey Kluber, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a fun one to watch. This guy's been around the block for a while, but he's having a rock-solid season with a real good ERA. It'll be really interesting to see how he attacks his opposing lineup. So now, here is Brandon Lau. He will lead this one off today. Wow. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And we are underway from Yankee Stadium as the first pitch is taken for ball one. First pitch, one o'clock. Hit hard to the right side. Rizzo was there. And there's one down now. So one out and nobody aboard. And here comes the five tool middle infielder Wander Franco. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Our temperature 74 degrees as we get things started this afternoon. Second. Throw on to first, two gone. Ready now is G Man Chorn. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Pitch on the way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Torres is under it to make the catch to end the inning. The Rays go in order. One, two, three. Tampa Bay nothing. Yankees coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Chris Archer, a right-hander from North Carolina, is the man on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you'll know Chris Archer is good if he's able to throw that high fastball up in the zone. He's primarily a two pitch pitcher. A good fastball, he'll ride up in the zone in a hard slider. Not really a true slider, more of a slurve, kind of an in between the slider and a curveball. One of the keys for Chris establishing first pitch strikes 
with either of the fastball or the hard off-speed pitch. Into the box, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. High in the air out towards shallow right. A Rosarena will wait on it. One gone. Batting second. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. So bases are empty with one gone. And into bat next, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Archer steps into his windup. Here's the pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 0 2 once more. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. And a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Just not able to let that breaking ball travel enough right there. You could see his the eyes light up when that two. popped out of the pitcher's hands. And he just hooked it foul. One out, nobody on. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Meadows is there and he makes the catch for the out. That is now to the play here is Aaron Jones. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Pitch on the way. Hit high and deep to right center. And he'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the warning track, and the inning is over. On to the second inning now from Yankee Stadium with no score. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He'll start things out here against Corey Kluber. First pitch of the A.B. now. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Torres scoops it up. Throws in time for the first out of the second. That is it. The left fielder, Austin Meadows. 
Next to stand in is Austin Meadows. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. One Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Down the middle, a ball and a strike. Kluber has found one. success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable, and obviously that goes a long way as a starting pitcher. Matty V, there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play, doesn't give up a lot of hits, doesn't walk very many batters, and when you do that, it's a good recipe for success. And it's worked for him so far in his career. Here comes the one two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. No score here as we play inning number two. And it's fouled away. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Again, a one two. Half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Pulled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Randy hey. Rosarena is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And low, it's a ball and a strike. This is line to left. Gallo finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Down in order go the Rays. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. John Carlos well, Stanton. He'll stand in against the Chris Archer to get the inning underway. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. But a foul oh, ball foul. here. 0 oh 1. One strike now from Archer. Oh, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. Hit sharply on the ground. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. Doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. Two, two, oh, he has great bat the ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack to be able to being able to get the barrel of the ball, and this is one of those guys. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one.
Stanton on at first. Nobody out. Yeah. Fastball at 96 on the one radar ball, gun, break. and it's one and one. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. I, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players. He makes them earn their keep. And another foul ball. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Back up the middle. And that's through for the hit. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Standing in now, Aaron Hicks. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep into the second deck and gone. to a three to nothing lead. Well, with no outs, you can afford to give up a single, but you can't afford to give up a three-run homer. He just caught too much of the plate. Now he's back to the drawing board. No outs, and the inning is already an ugly one. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Throws in time, and that's out number one. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. Striding in is Gary Sanchez. Archer looks in. Here comes the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes, count. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Kiermeyer looks up. Gone into Monument Park. Solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Here's Rogan at Odor now. Oh, boy. Swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Meadows will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now batter. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Fly down in his first at bat, so make it 0 for 1 so far. Here's the pitch. 
Counts 1-0. Oh. Four runs here in this half inning. Ball. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. two. No when he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. We play two full. The Yankees lead it four to nothing. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off to third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Now the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. And it's quickly 0-2. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout, this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Ball, that and counts. he looks at a ball, one and two. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. After it is Hicks. He's there and records the first down. Up next for the Rays, Mike Zanino. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. No, that's down. Zanino has had his trouble in these matchups, facing right handed pitching, that is, and shows a lot more prowess against the southpaws. A ball and a strike to Mike yeah, Zanino. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. A one and two count to the Rays count catcher. One and two. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Sinker, three and two now. Kevin Kiermeyer is on deck. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's a swing and a ground ball, and the Rays are in the hit column. That's the only way to combat a nasty cutter. You have to find a way to fight and stay inside that baseball and drive it the other way. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Gloved by LeMahieu. And there are two away now. So next to bat will be Brendan Lau. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. 1 0.
the 1-0. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two. two. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Ray's strand just the one. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Back here with Mark DeRosa and Dan Klipzak, Matt Vaskersen, as the left handed hitting power threat Anthony Rizzo starts out the inning. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. I think getting the leadoff man in every inning is important as a pitcher. When you're coming off an inning that you really labored through, it makes all the difference mentally. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll take a look at ball one. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Archer's ready. Here's the 1 0. Bullet back up the middle. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now and digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Now here it comes. Ball one, no strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and no strikes to count to Stanton. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is Kiermeyer. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They lead it four to nothing. Bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last AB. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Pitch is popped up, and this is going to be a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. A bouncer to the left side. Reined in. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now batting. So the next to bat will be G-Man Choi. 
flyed out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the pitch. And that's inside, inside for a ball 1 and 0. One and one. One and one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. There Started go. to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. One two. Nope. Foul ball. The one two. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Up next for Here's Bay. Nelson Cruz now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding Nelson. out in his only trip Cruz. to the plate so far. First offering on its way. Aye. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're down four, nothing. Bottom of the inning now. And up to bat next, the left handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo. First pitch of the AB now. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a cold strike. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Oh, and one, here it comes. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. No one on with one down, and that'll bring in the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. Well, Maddie, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. You do not come off the heater. Have to be leery of the off speed, but stay on the fastball. He's got to throw it again. Archer gets the sign. Here's the 0-1. Oh. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. Down, one and one. One out, nobody on. Hammers it to deep right field. Going back is the right fielder. And it's gone as they add still another. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game. And that'll stake the Yankees to a 5-0 lead now. When this one left the bat, I thought it was going to be an easy out to right. But it just kept tearing and tearing. And the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back. But no dice. Now that. Next up will be Glaber Torres. As he will look yep, at a first pitch out. fastball for ball one.
the 1-0. He may be down 2-0 after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They did miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Count leverage right there, sitting dead red fastball, and he didn't miss it. Nice swing right there, driving it into the outfield for a knock. In now, Gary Sanchez. He swings and grounds it to short. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. We play four, five nothing New York. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production, and he told me overall he's not happy with the at bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right, thanks, Heidi. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Austin Meadows. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back Whoa. in this game. Damn. Maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of at-bats they put together. This is where you have to lock in as a team. Every guy has to go up to the plate and have a good, productive A-B to get this team going. That evens it up one and one. Now the pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. To two Whoa, balls and two down. strikes now. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Is hit well down the line in right. This ball has a chance, and it is gone. A home run. It's a solo home run for Austin Meadows. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's five to one. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Here's Randy Arozarena. And so take strike one on the inside corner. Arozarena is usually found in left, but in this one, he's manning the other corner outfield spot in right. The wind up and the 0 1. Belted high and deep into right center. Hicks going back to the track to the wall. Gone! Solo shot to right center, and it's now a 5 to 2 game. Wow, back to back to start the inning. Talk about putting a pitcher on notice. 
on the mound. You almost have to completely forget about those and try to convince yourself you're starting the inning over fresh. No one on, no one out. Joey Wendell digs in now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. The batter. The catcher. Mike. One out, base is empty, and that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. Here's the first pitch. Hey. hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top Open. hand over. It's 0-2. You know, it's funny right there. You look at that pitch, and it's almost a hybrid in between a big-time old-school curveball and a nasty slider that goes off the fastball. That's kind of right in the middle right there, kind of working off the clock, that 3-8, to eight, if you can picture that in your head. Tough pitch to lay off of. Fouled away. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with the slurb there. Two gone. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only Outside, himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Now the 2-0. Lifted the other way to left center. Hicks on the move. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. The batter number eight, second base, Brandon. Into the box, Brandon Lau. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 1 1 home. A ball and two strikes now. Kiermeyer stands at second with two gone. Fouled off. Here's the 2 2.
I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. The 2-2 one more time. Doesn't hit the three target. Ball, it's ball strikes. three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees lead this one 5-2. to two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Rupnet Odor. First pitch coming. Here it is. The 0 1 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermaier on the run. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. That was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with show track. Seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As he'll take a Count look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1 and 0 delivery. Nope, that's off the plate. Ball two. Lifted into center field. Kiermeyer is under this one. And that's out number two. Two down, no one on base. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. First pitch on its way. Hey, with two Ball outs one, in the no number strike. two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. A Rosarena gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're still out in front, five to two. So now into the box is Wander Franco. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Here's the pitch. Nope. Counts one and zero. Oh. The 1 0. Ball two.
into center field line drive base hit. So it's a good start to the inning for the Rays as their leadoff hitter is aboard. Whoa, that ball was close. It was right by his head. I think he probably heard it go by, guys. That's pretty unsettling for a pitcher. Trust me, I know. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Taken, but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. As a look, now the pitch. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with, but there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up three bases. Here comes the one-two. Hit to first. Rizzo is there. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. Now that to the plate now is the designated hitter Nelson Cruz he lined out in his last trip so looking for better fortunes here yeah Matty it's always a little frustrating when you square one up you hit a solid line drive like he did it and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout that can get in your head for a little while right guy right spot this is one of the better hitters in their lineup just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Five two is our score here in inning number six. Hit on the ground out to short, fielded by a door. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile the runner is in to score. And here with the infield back. They were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. And stepping in, Austin Meadows. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, he absolutely torched the fastball his last time up. Pretty much a no-doubter, so he's got to be feeling pretty ball. confident right here. Ball one. No Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And right into the shift. Rizzo was there. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. The Yankees are out in front, five to three. Colin McHugh enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 31, Colin McHugh. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Aaron. The right fielder, Aaron. and deals here's the first pitch nope. 
Sneaks a fastball yeah, by him at the letters. It's one and one. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel on that one. This ball will be chopped foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated oh, fastball. Yes, Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Kiermeyer is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Here's Joey Gallo now. He was robbed of a hit in his last at bat, so he'll try to change his fortunes here. Yeah, you got to control the controllables, Matty. All you can do is put barrel to baseball and see what happens. You cannot control the defensive wizardry on the other side. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Kiermeyer. Leaps and he makes the catch. He took away a home run. Wow. Another look here as he goes up and over the wall to take away a home run. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Seventh inning ready to roll, and up next will be Randy Arozarena. Chad Green is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 57. Chad Green. Here's the first pitch. Hey. One count and the pitch behind 0 and 2 now. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. Here it comes 0 and 2 on the ground to third. And that's through in the left. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. And that's one of those plays that stay with you for an entire game. You want to get the first out on what appears to be a routine play, but you can't get it done. The good news, he has some time to redeem himself. Gio Urshela has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Now playing third base, number 29, Gio Urshela.
Stepping in now, Joey Wendell, as he'll take a look oh. at...